Starting your home catering business. Licenses and registrations unveiled. Starting a home-based catering business begins with understanding the fundamentals, including the legalities, market demands, and what makes a successful operation. It's a venture that combines culinary passion with entrepreneurial spirit. The big game licenses. In short, you need at least a business license, an EIN, a seller's permit, and then you need to register your business name with a DBA, LLC, or corporation. You can obtain all or any one of these licenses at bizname.com. General Business License. This bad boy is like the door pass that lets you legally operate your culinary kingdom. Without it, you're essentially a black market chef, which is a recipe for disaster and potential prison cuisine. Food Service License. Think of this as your official I won't poison people permit. It's a solemn vow to the food safety gods that you'll handle ingredients with the utmost care and respect they deserve. The elusive permits. Now let's talk about those pesky permits that are like the hidden treasures of the food business safari. Some of these beauties might apply to your adventure while others may remain elusive and shrouded in mystery. Food handler's permit. This one's for your crew, proving they know the difference between a salmonella souffle and a perfectly safe dish. Liquor license. If you plan to serve the sweet nectar of the gods, aka booze, you'll need this special permit. It's like a golden ticket to the world of adult beverages. Sidewalk Cafe. Permit. Want to let your diners soak up some sun while they nosh? You'll need this permit to legally set up an outdoor oasis. The Badges of Honor In the food business, certifications are like badges of honor that show the world you mean serious business. Here are a few that might make your taste buds tingle. Food Safety Certification This one's like a black belt in not giving your customers food poisoning. It's a must-have for any self-respecting culinary warrior. Specialized certifications, feeling adventurous, certifications in niche areas like gluten-free cooking, sommelier skills, or molecular gastronomy can make you the envy of your food tribe. Identifying your niche and target market is crucial. Whether it's weddings, corporate events, or intimate dinners, focusing on a specific segment helps tailor your offerings and marketing efforts, setting you apart from competitors. Every home-based catering business must navigate through essential licensing requirements. This involves understanding what permits are necessary at both local and state levels to legally operate and serve food. Obtaining a food service license is a detailed process, often involving an inspection of your kitchen, ensuring it meets health and safety standards. This step is non-negotiable for operating legally and building trust with clients. A business license is equally significant, acting as your official registration to operate a business in your location. Applying for one requires submitting specific documents and, in some cases, a fee, depending on your jurisdiction. Navigating health department regulations for home kitchens is crucial in establishing a legitimate home-based catering business. These guidelines ensure your cooking space meets safety standards, critical for consumer protection and business credibility. Obtaining a food handler's permit is an essential step for any caterer. This certification demonstrates your knowledge of food safety practices, helping to build trust with clients and adhere to legal requirements. Zoning laws play a significant role in operating a home-based business. Understanding these regulations ensures your catering operations don't violate local ordinances, allowing you to run your business without legal hiccups. Insurance is key to protecting your home-based catering venture. It covers liabilities, property damage, and potential legal fees, safeguarding your business's financial health, and providing peace of mind as you serve your community. When registering your catering business, choosing between a sole proprietorship and an LLC is crucial. This decision affects your liability,
taxes, and the ability to expand, shaping the foundation of your business's legal structure. Understanding the tax implications for your home-based catering business is crucial. Registering and obtaining an employer identification number, EIN, helps streamline tax processes, ensuring you remain compliant with IRS requirements. Complying with food safety standards not only safeguards your customer's health, but also enhances your business reputation. Adopting best practices, from storage to preparation, is essential in establishing a trusted catering service. In short, you need at least a business license, an EIN, a seller's permit, and then you need to register your business name Simply Irresistible with a DBA, LLC, or corporation. You can obtain all or any one of these licenses here online. Creating a compelling business plan is your roadmap to success. It outlines your vision, financial forecasts, and operational strategies. This document is vital for securing funding and guiding your catering business towards its goals. Setting up your home kitchen for commercial use demands careful planning. Investing in the right equipment and optimizing your layout can significantly increase efficiency, making it easier to produce high-quality food on a larger scale. Marketing strategies are the lifeline of your home-based catering business. Leveraging social media, word of mouth, and local networking can dramatically increase your visibility, helping you attract and retain a loyal customer base. Building relationships with suppliers and vendors is critical for the success of your home-based catering business. These partnerships ensure you have access to high-quality ingredients and materials, often at competitive prices. Cultivating strong connections can lead to exclusive deals and reliability in your supply chain, which is invaluable when catering to important events. Packaging and presentation play a pivotal role in the catering business. It's not just about delicious food. How you present it can significantly impact customer satisfaction. Invest in attractive, durable packaging that reflects the quality of your service. This attention to detail can set your business apart and make a lasting impression on your clients. Pricing your catering services competitively requires a careful balance. You need to cover costs and ensure a profit while remaining attractive to your target market. Conducting market research to understand what competitors charge can offer insights. Remember, exceptional service and quality can justify higher prices. Expanding your home-based catering business involves strategic planning for growth and scalability. Consider diversifying your menu offerings or extending your service area. Growth might also mean hiring staff or investing in marketing. Each step should be measured and aligned with your business goals, ensuring sustainable expansion. In conclusion, starting and growing a home-based catering business is a rewarding venture that requires attention to several key steps. From building supplier relationships to strategic expansion, each aspect plays a crucial role in your success. Stay motivated, maintain high standards, and your catering business can thrive. In short, you need at least a business license, an EIN, a seller's permit, and then you need to register your business name with a DBA, LLC, or corporation. You can obtain all licensing and registrations at bizname.com.